Good morning, North Creek students, families, and friends. Uh, I wanted to share a devotional today because it is Tuesday, um, and today's devotional comes from the Gospel of Matthew. Uh, I'm not going to read our whole passage, but if you'd like to um, go back and read it, it comes from Matthew chapter 25, uh, and it's verses 14 to 27. And so uh, to summarize the story, it says that a man uh, was going on a journey, and as he was going on this journey, he called three of his servants in um, in order to entrust them each uh, with something called talents. Uh, to the first, he gave five talents. To the second, he gave two. To the third, he gave one. And then he left on his journey. Soon after returning from his long journey, he brought in his servants again, asking them about each of the talents. The first servant came before his master, said, Master, I doubled the number of talents that I had. The second, also doubled his talents. The third came forward and said, I know that you are a frugal man. So I was afraid and buried it in the ground, waiting for your return. And the master became really angry, saying, you wicked and lazy servant. You should have at least invested my money with the bankers. At least I would have received interest. And you see, uh, there are three truths that I believe that we can take away from this today. The first is that God is not cheap with his blessings. If you remember, the third servant, his reason for burying his talent in the ground was because he had stated a truth that wasn't true, true at all that his master was actually not a frugal man. And the same with God. Sometimes we believe and we treat God as such because we, he doesn't give us everything that we want. And the truth is, is that for us, especially being a father and having a child, if I gave everything that my daughter wanted, that that would not be beneficial to her. But even so, I, I have given her so much in that my love and care in spending my time with her. And these are some of the things that God has given us and which proves that he is not cheap in his blessings. He has given us much. He has given us gifts, financial gifts. He has given us time, right? He's given us people. And that's the one thing that we need to learn, that in this time of COVID-19, to see a silver lining, to see the gifts of, this, of these times is time. You've been given the time to learn something new. You've given the time to read a good book, to challenge and stress yourself, to do things that you never would, which leads us to our second point that we are called to be good stewards of what God has given us. Now, in our passage, the master uses a term called talent. And talent is not just money. Talent refers to anything, any gift that is given. And as I mentioned before, God has given us time. And so what we need to do is use this time to grow his kingdom, to win people over to his faith, to ultimately glorify him, which is our purpose. That is man's purpose, that we may glorify God and enjoy him forever. And we do that by being stewards of what God has given us. I know in these times, I'm tempted to use the time to serve myself. I'm tempted to sleep in past 12 o'clock. I'm tempted to use this time for whatever I'm doing. But God has given me this time in order to serve my family, to spend time with them, to spend time with him, to use these as opportunities to glorify him ultimately. And thirdly, the last 
truth that we can take away is that it matters how we live here and now. Again, Christians are sometimes so heavenly minded, meaning that we justify our actions thinking that we have a get out of hell free card. But in truth, God has placed you on this earth, that you and I on this earth to faithfully live out our callings. Even in these times, it's easy to look forward, to constantly wonder, when is this all going to end? But maybe God has put you in your place right now in order to slow down, to embrace things, to open your eyes to things that maybe you've never noticed, things you've never done before, like maybe have a conversation with a family member, maybe reach out to people that you haven't been able to after, after a long time. And so regardless of what these things are, I hope that these three things will encourage you today and that you will live these, three th these things out this week. And that in your discussion times, especially amongst your families, that you would maybe discuss how are the ways in which I can notice and remember that God has been so gracious to me, that I can use these things in order to glorify Him to find out ways that we can do so. And lastly, wondering how, in, how does this change how I live here and now on earth? Moving forward after this whole pandemic, how is this going to change my life in a way in which I can live for God? And so I pray today that you would be blessed by this word, this, by this devotional, and you'd be challenged and stretched by it as well. Thank you. Have a wonderful week and see you next week. Bye.